Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Convoy flashlight, but this time with high CRI rating. And it's Convoy S21A with Nietzsche B35AM. So here's some photos how it looks. And later I will explain you what does CRI mean and how it looks and what's different between this flashlight and other flashlights with other LEDs. So what is CRI? CRI is Color Rendering Index and the maximum value is 100. Here you see that I took photo, the same photo with two flashlights. On the left side it's XHP 50.2 with lower CRI and on the left with Nietzsche. And as you see, the higher value is, the more natural and more saturated colors look. Here's the same photo from the left, just the whole picture. And this photo is taken with Nietzsche, also from previous photo. Here's another photo with different objects, showing the difference between high and low CRI flashlight. So basically it gives you more natural colors with high CRI LEDs. This may be important for photographers. Of course, if you know about photography, you know that you can fix white balance in post-processing. But still, colors look different and as you see here in the photo, they are unsaturated and in photo taken with higher CRI flashlight, it looks more saturated and more natural. Here we have Convoy EDC flashlight, it says 21A. I chose this color. Here's how it looks. Very nice knurling. Design is very nice, build quality also, tail cap with the switch on it, orange peel reflector, inside you see Nietzsche LED and from reflection you can see that it's AR coated. So as most convoys you can disassemble it completely. Here we have the spring. I ordered it with little color battery. It uses 21700 battery. And in all my tests I use this battery. Also you can unscrew it from the head. And here we have the contact cylinder and the driver itself. One thing about this thread, as you can see, here's a seal ring and it's lubricated. And when you close the tail cap, it does not reach the body. And there's a gap and some dust get inside on the seal ring. So you have to clean it occasionally. So very nice flashlight, very compact body, comfortable to hold, can be used as a tactical light. And about the color, it's not quite red and on different screens it may look different. So here's the flashlight and it may seem funny but I think that all of you have Coca-Cola and you can see the color difference. One more thing about it, you can order teal lens from Convoy official store. Those do not cost much and all you have to do 
is unscrew the driver to this side and remove the reflector but don't touch it with your fingers as you can scratch it easily and put this inside if you want for example scattered beam glass should be on top this is the seal ring from the glass and you will get diffuse light also I will compare the beams and the tint with this flashlight it's Convoy S11 with XHP 50.2 it's about 70 or 60 Cree and this one is about 95 so here is S11 and here is Nietzsche as most flashlight enthusiasts like this purple beam so that's your way to get into Nietzsche and try it yourself for the small price one more thing about this flashlight is when you half press the button it makes this noise I don't know maybe it's a problem only with my button but it does not do anything apart from noise and I really don't care about it so this flashlight uses 12 groups and I chose the group with five modes from 0.1% to 100 and how to choose a group in Biscotti firmware I'll post link here where I already did a review of another Conway flashlight with the same firmware so that's about the flashlight now let's move to nightum shots and see how it looks in the dark
hope you enjoyed those item shots. Now let's take a look at random graphs. Here we see that as most convoys, this flashlight also has brightness stabilization on all modes. Just on turbo, it steps down because of the temperature. Links to those graphs will be in video description. Hope you enjoyed watching my review. So some final words about this flashlight. I think this is very nice EDC flashlight and probably the least expensive if you want to try niche LEDs. This particular LED has no dome, so it produces very even beam. I like that it uses 21700 battery. It gives very good run times. It has stabilization on all modes, as most convoys I previously reviewed. Design is quite simple, but build quality is, as most convoys, very good. Also, you can buy two lens for this flashlight and install it by yourself. It has very high CRI rating and I use it for my integrating sphere calibration for high Cree flashlights. This flashlight was tested in my local university with professor and we tested it in professional integrating sphere. Here you see on the screen all the measurements. If you need something, just pause the screen. So very nice EDC flashlight from Convoy. Nothing bad, only that the button makes sound, but it's nothing. It does not interfere with how it works. So very nice flashlight and thanks for watching guys. See you next time in the next review. Thanks. Goodbye.